Dear students, today I am going to explain you about present perfect tense. First of all, we should know that what is present perfect tense and how to identify it. The work is completely done, then it is called present perfect. And this work is uh, at that very time when we are talking about it is done. Then how to identify that the work is done? So if in the sentence there is use of already, just now, yet, then we will understand that the work is done at this, at this moment and this is the present perfect tense. In this case, we have always to keep in mind that the verb used is always past participle. That is also known as the V3 form of the verb. So, here we have to keep in mind that V3, which is the past participle, as we are telling go and gone, here gone is past participle, that is V3. In the same way, by bought, bought, here bought is past participle, that is V3. So, if the subject is I, V, you, they, and third person plural number, we have always to use have plus V3 and any object. And after that, we have to use any adverb. In the case of already, we have always to keep in mind that after already, V3 is used as I have already done my task. You have already visited the Taj Mahal. She has already finished her breakfast. In the same way, if the subject is third person singular number, like he, she, it, or any third person singular name, like a boy has already arrived here. She has already completed her task. You have already invited me. In the same way, if the sentence is interrogative sentence, then we have to use yet. Okay? As uh, you see, has she not come yet? Haven't you done your task yet? These are the things we have to keep in mind when we are solving the questions of present perfect. And uh, this is coming in time and tense. We always use uh, this uh, time and tense in uh, English grammar for doing the exercises. Thank you.